Hello everyone, my name is Pete and this, this is Ifan Tips. I'm really happy because today I will show you the public version of Sample Builder. I worked on this for I guess six or seven weeks and well, finally it's done. Let's take a look. All right, here we are in this demo that I created for you to demonstrate the power and fundamentals of DCA. Actually, if you want to learn more about this architecture, I will leave a link in the description below. I will use this demo to demonstrate how Simple Builder can help us in our daily work, generating random data really easy. For example, here we have a list of products that I just created manually thanks to this sample property from product struct. If we go to sample, we will see a lot of information here. For example, ID, title, price, description, category, etc. etc. What will happen if we want to create another five elements? Well, you will have to copy paste this and then change all the items manually. Right? and do the same for the coming elements. This can be tedious and not practical for many reasons. Although this might be just useful for your development, I found a better way to do this instead of just copy pasting a lot. What are we gonna do? Yes, using Sample Builder. To do that, we will add a new package called Swift and Tips Macros. So let's go to Xcode, App Package Dependencies, and I will show it to you that I just created this Swift and Tips macros repository with all the information you need in case you want to learn more about Sample Builder, for example. Here is all the information. But just for this demo, let's go quickly and I will get this URL from Git. And if you want to learn more, of course, this link is in the description below. Now let's go back to Xcode and I will do this, copy pasting the Swift and Team Macros library. Add package. Yeah, I didn't mention this, but yeah, let's use main because, well, it's just obvious, but let's use this one and then add it to online store DCA, which is the name of the project. There you go. Now we have Swift and Tips macros ready for you. Okay, let's go now to product. Let's get rid of all this information. We won't need this sample manually created anymore. And now, Let's go to this product struct. Let's import Swift and Tips macros. And let's also add data generator. Now let's attach sample builder on top of product. Now you need to provide the number of items. In this case, let's just keep it to three. And data generator type has two types of data generators, which is default, we will just generate fixed data. For example, if you have a string here, you will get always hello world string. Or if you have an int, you will get zero and so on. Just, just fixed data. In case also, you can use it, for example, for your unit test and just receive always the same information. This will be useful if you want to make your test deterministic. And we'll see in just in a moment random, but let's select default. Now, let's see what is exactly the code generated. And boom, we got a lot of information here. Data generator is something, is a struct that I created to generate all the information, depending on the type. And depending, for example, in string, our sample property is ready to go. So let's go to product list view again, and let's see what happened. Well, in this case, the URL provided is not actually an image. It's just a random URL that is redirecting to apple.com. But the point here is that, look how we just generate three elements right away. Now, if we go back and we want to generate, let's say, 20 elements, let's see what happened. Let's go back to the preview and wait for it. There you go. Now we just generated 20 elements right away without no effort at all. What about 15, 50? There we go. In just a few seconds, you are getting a lot of information. You get the idea. And I haven't even touched this. Now, what will happen if instead of a fixed value, we want something that is just changing uh, depending on the uh, item? So 
let's go back to here and instead of use data generator type or default let's use random let's put just this to 10 just to make this faster and let's go back to the list yeah here is just generating a lot of information random for example i guess here is just getting an email here is just generating a diff, uh, random double and so on this is like okay this is better than the other one just because we got uh, more data just generated for you for free but for example what will happen if we actually want to show something an image for example here let's go back to product and one of the cool things is that we can use another macro created here that is sample builder item sample builder item has so it's a set of categories for you, depending on the type of data, just to make it more effective to the context you want to use. And the good news is that you can select from many of those categories. Some of them are applicable for strings, for example, like full name, first name, string, credit card, etc. Yeah, those are kind of strings, but they are only generating addresses, a version, card number, etc but if for example we want to generate an image URL specifically we can use this and then provide let's say uh, 300 and 400 let's see let's see what happened now let's go back to our list yeah it's generating data for free yeah yay now let's go back again and for example if we want to make price better we can add another category here related to price now let's see what happened look how the price now it's more meaningful and it just have two cents two units instead of just a random double with many decimals it's just two now if we want also to change the title for example let's say even though we are not using people here let's put the title as a full name just to get the idea and let's add description has address just to generate something larger than a full name let's go back and look how the data is generating for us now change the number of items to 30 one more time and just see the result you get the idea this will help you right away in just a few minutes we're just moving back and forth with the number of items we are just changing the context of what is the type of property we want to display here and all of this in just a few seconds and yeah ready for you for you to um, do anything you need instead of just typing all of that manually well you have it for free thanks to sample builder there you have it sample builder is available in the description below and we're ready for you to add it to your code base let me know in the comments what do you think about sample builder what would you add to this new macro and if you have any feedback suggestion or you found any issue please leave it in the issues section in github or in any of my platforms like twitter linking or mastodon i will be glad to help you with all that issues that you found that's it for me remember my name is pete and this this is ifan tips thanks for watching and have a great day